Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming Tech Productions and today I will be showing you guys how to play Wii games on your PC using just your phone. Now this is the second episode to my series of taking otherwise expensive gaming setups and making them cheap using everyday items like your phone. This setup is a lot easier than the PC VR setup because all you need is one application. But enough with the talk, let's make this setup. Now to start off, let's talk about the requirements. You will need to have the Dolphin software on your PC, which allows you to emulate the Wii games. Then you will need at least one phone that can download either DSU controller, Wiimote DSU, or DSU remote. That is quite literally it. Let's get into the tutorial. Now, once you have the Dolphin emulator, all your favorite games, and one of the three applications installed on your phone, now go back to the Dolphin emulator, click controllers, go to alternate input sources, and then go back to your phone, click the application, go to the settings and scroll down and you should see your IP address for your phone. And then you should see the port. Now all phones have different IP addresses. So you will need to make sure that each one that you put here all have different IP addresses and they should have the same port. Now, once you have the IP address for your phone in mind, go to add, add any name, do not use the same name for each controller slash phone, and then put the IP address here and put the port. Now, once you do that, that is literally it just for connecting. Now you need to actually get it to work with the Dolphin emulator. Now go to the emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter, go to Wii Remote 1 for now, and then click emulated Wii Remote. Now click configure, and then up here at device, if you connected it successfully, you should see the DSU client slash one slash remote one. Now one is based on in the app if you have your slot set as one. So for instance, if I was to set mine to zero, it will say DSU client slash zero slash remote one. But to be honest, none of that really matters. Now you could use a keyboard and mouse, but to be honest, it is way easier to use a phone or a remote in this case. Now, once you have that set up, that is literally it. Now, once you have your controller connected successfully, now I wanna show you guys how to get your games here. So just click config, click paths. And as you guys can see, I already have my path here. So all you need to do is you just need to go into somewhere in your downloads and create a folder, name it something like Wii or Wii games, and then find your dumps. Or if you can find some ROMs off of Google, most of the time it's WBFS, or you can also use a ISO then you can just put those files into the folder you created and then go to add, find that folder and it should show up here. And that's literally all you need. So as you guys can see, I have Mario Sports Mix, Wii Party, Wii Play, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. So when you guys see gameplay of me actually using my phone to play these games, I'll most likely be using Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort, but you can add almost any game to this. It's not like Yuzu where some games just don't work but you can add most games like Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort. But if you wanna make sure that your game can be added to Dolphin just fine, I'm sure they have documentation somewhere where you can see if it works. Now, performance should not be an issue since most fun games were made over a decade ago like Wii Sports. Now, overall, this is a very fun setup to create and use. And the fact that up to four people can play just by using their phone is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and have any other setups you think are possible and want me to try to create, let me know down in the comments and like the video. 
But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.